There we go. Um, changed some uh, some uh, hardware around, so um, it didn't. It wasn't able to um, find my find my new headphones and everything like that. So um, it's always fun whenever you haven't streamed for a couple of days, and then you like try to get everything going, and then it's just like, ha 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 ha, no. Um, remember whenever you called this trash? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the basic consensus on on this game right now. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be talking about um everything, um, and then we're also gonna be discussing the new patch. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a game going. I'm just trying to figure out who I should play. I should play maybe we could play taiwan i want i was i was really stuck between rulers of nations or superpower three um so next stream we're going to be playing superpower three i mean uh i was stuck between superpower three and rulers of nations so in the next stream we're going to be doing um what do you call it uh rulers of nations I'm a little tired right now um, but I wanted to get a stream in today, so it was it was just more kind of trying to make sure that uh, I wanted to get something in because I haven't gotten anything in in the past couple of days, and so um, and I also wanted to just have a discussion about this game. There's a couple of questions that people have been asking me and everything, and saying like like um, there's just a couple of things that I kind of wanted to um, kind of talk about weeks go by the patches should be getting bigger yeah we had about a hundred megabyte patch today um it was a uh, i like what if you guys um want some information um a average gamer has actually been pretty good about about everything about uh kind of like keeping on top of the game and everything um basically what he said in this one and someone said someone said a minute ago said that uh um it hasn't changed it's still garbage um are you talking about compared to Super Power 2 or just like whenever the game came out a week ago? Um, but basically they said, and and you can actually look at the patch notes for it. Um, basically, this patch that they released, um, it's more under the hood um, com uh, uh, according to what Average Gamer said. Um, wasn't it about one gigabyte though? Was it? Let me look. Cause I had to update it before I started playing today and I, uh, and it was more, yeah, it was, um, 103 megabytes is what I got. Um, planning on getting it, but the review scared me away. I'm still considering, feel like it'll get better with time. Um, apparently, so I had a conversation with, with the lead developer, Jean-René Couture, <coughs> And basically what happened is that, um, according to what he said, and this is what um, was told, we're going to do a run. We're going to do a run. Um, this is what he told me and about a group of, I think it was about 20 other people. Um, okay, so that apparently pops up immediately. He basically said that... The game development started in like 2018. There are two different numbers on Steam, 103 and 990 or so. Um, I I only got 103. Um, basically the biggest thing that I can that I can say um that I really analyzed on why the game is unfinished is because of burnout. Um essentially the development team was so burned out by the development of super power three <clears throat> that that they just they just wanted it done like they just wanted to be like okay we're gonna get it out there and we're gonna we're gonna hope that they understand and we and we're gonna and we're gonna go forth and and just patch it up um and they said in hindsight they really should have gone after some sort of they should have gone after some sort of a release like a early access kind of release um in which 
you know, maybe the reaction to it wouldn't have been so harsh. I think one of the biggest reactions to the release of Superpower 3 was that it was being advertised as a finished product and and it wasn't and even they said it's unfinished and that's that's what we got that's why the reaction was so strong is because it's an it's an unfinished game that's just the bad management from higher ups um and some people keep saying like uh that Whenever you saw you guys saw me like the day before, like on that really big stream, um, people are saying like, you know, I was getting paid for it and everything and like, oh, they just hired a content creator, paid him and to say good things about the game. I'm quite optimistic. I'm probably too optimistic. So I look at things as you know if i if i say okay i go off of what i'm being told why does the world look so weird hang on sensitivity graphics gamma so that's all the way up asset quality okay i guess i went away um so this is the biggest thing so apparently as you look at at the world, it actually shows the region map. If you can actually look, so you can kind of zoom in and you're like, okay, you know what region is what. But I'm just going to get and kind of get this, this uh, controversy out of the way. Um, no, I was not paid whatsoever to preview Superpower 3. I wish I was. And apparently that's like the biggest um, thing that people say about content creators. Um, yeah, there is a there is a graphical bit bug right there. The Golem, if you're actually there's a developer in the chat. So uh, um, if you could go ahead and make note of that, you can actually if you can actually see what I'm looking at. Yeah, right there. <clears throat> so it's. And I, and I, and that's one of the biggest things that I that I really see about um, where people say like, oh well, you know, this person's just being paid for it just because they're saying good things. I'm saying good things because that's genuinely how I feel. I I I, I genuinely do think that it that the core gameplay is pretty good. I mean, I have to deal with Power and Revolution every day, even though that Power and Revolution is actually more stable than what we're getting right now. I've never seen that myself, yeah. This is the first time I've played Super Power 3 since the release. Yeah, I don't know what's causing that. You see that? Everything's just kind of blocky. I, I literally watched... Um, what's his name... I literally watched um, Average Gamer, and I didn't really see him come into this come into this issue. Or maybe that's kind of like me just playing as a Ron or something. Or, or Ron is bugged. Imagine that. It takes ten and a half minutes for this game to load on my Steam Deck. I actually don't have a Steam Deck, so I wouldn't know. two regions in Kuwait. No, there's probably three. Yeah, there's three. Kuwait City. Wally. Wally. Over here, we're going to sign some agreements with Russia. We so we have we do have an embassy. And as for the other thing, um people were asking me, you know, like, why didn't you say anything before the game came out and everything like that? Um, I noticed that combat has gotten easier. Um, I, I need to try. Um, P 
people were like, well, why didn't you say anything until the game came out? The only thing that I think I really failed on was to talk about... Because I, I said it was going to be controversial. Honestly, I should have just came out and just said, y'all aren't going to like it. That That's really what I should have I should have done. Um, I don't necessarily, you know, think I did anything wrong. And that's what everyone else has basically told me. It's more... Um, there were some obligations that I had to abide by. I was not being paid to say anything good about Superpower 3, but there were some limitations that I had to abide by as a content creator to, um, to kind of, uh, trying to figure out, I'm also kind of tired, <laughs> um, there were some limitations that I had to abide by as a content creator that I wasn't able to disclose. So, yeah, um, I think the biggest thing that I should have done beforehand was to come out and say, you know, I think y'all are going to hate it. Because that's actually what they even told me. They said, like, you can say, I like it, I hate it. I can't go into any more detail than that. And if I were to come out and say, I hate it because of this, 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 and this, then... Um, it would have blocked me from other opportunities as a content creator. Um, but for next time, you know, I'm a growing, uh, YouTuber. I'm trying to, like, I'm at what, almost 7,000 subscribers now. Um, and I'm, and I'm growing and learning and everything like that. And it's just a learning experience that I can take on to the next collaboration that I do. Um, and um, I'm definitely going to be more honest, especially with, with some of the upcoming games like World Warfare and Economic. Um, so again, it's more of a learning experience for next time. Um, game is poop, yeah. Um, I still, I still, I still do stand by my is the AI more aggressive now. What's in a new patch? Let me actually read the patch notes. Least notes. So it's more behavior. So AI reactions delayed and progressive made AI decision time quicker. Correction and smaller effect on having a sector illegal and productivity. A lot of corrections. Some UI fixes, including the refresh of texture arrays, wasn't done in certain contexts, giving it blank texture. Um, unit texture in the marketplace weren't updated in some contexts. Um, Etc. Having over a hundred thousand units in simple group only shows one hundred slash fixed. Removed an objective from China in a World War Three scenario. Some behavior fixes, modified reactions when doing a peaceful annexation, so that was fixed. Um, modified changed controlling country ID to political ID and UIs. Nuclear ranges was displayed incorrectly. I only have nuclear power as Iran, Iran. Hoping to be able to play and be immer immerse in this game. All the best for the development team. Yeah, and, and that's the biggest thing is that a lot of people, and, and I actually had a conversation just, I was saying earlier, I had a conversation with uh, THQ and um, Golem Labs and um, Golem Labs, so I was talking to Jean-René Couture, um, who is the lead developer be behind Super Power 3. And um, and I told that, I told this to um, let me see if I can join a multiplayer game. Okay, I can. We're gonna play Japan. Um, so nothing good. It's more under the hood, as average gamers said. Um, it's nothing, you know, feature wise, anything like that. It's just bug fixes, it's straight up bug fixes. And that's probably the biggest thing that they're going to be focusing on in the next couple of weeks is just straight up bug fixing. Going to play Vic Victoria 3 when it comes out. I think so. Um, I'm getting a couple of requests to do that. So I'm going to try to make sure that I can. Um, I'm going to try to make sure that I uh, play uh, Victoria 3 whenever it comes out. I need to get it. Um, that way I can just uh, load it 
whenever it comes out, or at least before it comes out. Yeah, imagine all of this, and then Victoria 3 is even worse than Super Power 3. Japan and Germany are two most interesting countries to play, in my honest opinion, in um, Super Power 3. I used to play Japan so many times, like uh, 10 years ago, whenever I was playing the multiplayer game in Super Power 2. So... Clear warfare war only. So I'm going to go ahead and go through the economy. Bit of lag here. Love if you did a multiplayer in Victoria 3 first, like in Super Power 3. Yeah, I can do that. Um, it depends on what my work schedule looks like around that time. It comes out October 26th. Is that 25th or 26th? We nationalize the electricity. Peter Patrol, I'm gonna ban you, I swear to God. Every time he comes in here, he keeps asking me for a center right Germany. Twenty-five, I think. I'm gonna have to look at my work schedule. Okay, twenty-five. Come on. Okay, yeah, we're not doing multiplayer. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're going to play Japan in single player and... We're just going to go a couple of years. We're going to be streaming for like an hour and a half. Um, oh my god, we're going to be a Somali Shiite in Japan. <laughs> Beard. Use a military uniform. I'm the Caliphate of Japan, yeah. <laughs> there you go. That looks good. Character one more time. Iron Revolution is better in my opinion, yeah. Detail wise, and and I think I was saying this going on going into the release, I never expected Super Power Three to excel in the detail realm of Super Power of a Power and Revolution. I never did, and I think and I think I even tried to do that. It all got overshadowed by that big stream that I did, 
which everyone keeps making fun of me for for saying like and subscribe guys um like I don't know. I, I really wish that... I, went, I mean, I benefited a lot from that stream. I got 100 subscribers off that stream. Um, but... The, the biggest thing that I just wanted to get out of the way is, like, you know, there were a couple of failures on my part leading into release. I should have been a little more transparent um i should have but again i was pretty restrained with how much i was able to talk about it and again me being an optimist i really 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 was hoping that they had you know some five gigabyte patch that was just waiting in the corner i was going off of what i was told and that's it that's all of the information that i had and i had a content embargo that i had to abide by so i couldn't go into detail even if i said it was going to be trash I couldn't go into detail. So I think that's why I was a little more quiet going into release. So why are you doing 15% taxes across the board? Um that's how I did it in Superpower 2. I'm trying I'm I'm trying some economic strategies um similar to what I did. So in Superpower 2, I would always go into the economy and I would just do a flat um, tax across the entire economy, except instead of 15%, it would be 30%. Amen. How are, what are your thoughts on this? $14 billion. What are we pulling a deficit on? We could actually import some wood. Well, we're not, we don't have it nationalized. What have I missed so far? Nothing. We tried to join the multiplayer game. It didn't work out because it was too buggy. Well, not buggy, but it was um, it was too uh, what do you call it? Uh, it didn't work. Like it, like it was just too laggy. So now I'm just wondering whether it was actually where whether that could actually happen or not, considering current development communication with developers the biggest thing about about this is that is that um the developers are communicating way goddamn more than eversim is eversim like i would agree you know that they are the flagship of the entire geopolitical franchise of every single geopolitical game they are the flagship you got to deal with the bugs, but everything down there, like it, it's, it's perfect. It is the perfect geopolitical simulator. I haven't bought the game yet. Kind of waiting for the bugs to get fixed. Yeah. If you want to donate to the game, um, and, and just help the developers out, hoping for a good game down the road, go ahead and support the developers. For some rarely ever communicates, so that is a very hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. $3.5 billion on government? Really? Shit, we're just going to fully fund our government. Got to get rid of that corruption. $1.2 billion on corruption. Let's go. What are the goals of this game? Um, we're going to build the Japanese military up. We're going to try to get number five in the world. Um, but we're only going to be streaming for like an hour, another hour. I've been streaming for like nearly 30 minutes. So we're going to... Um, so... Horses... 
courses, build and deploy. Let's do active personnel. Let's see how fast we can get 10,000. We're going to get we're going to go for about 100,000 troops. I like how we have the Izumo. Service cell, counterintelligence. We're going to put two of these on counterintelligence. Oh, I didn't hit start. I'm an idiot. Counterintelligence, start. And counterintelligence, start. This guy, we're going to do espionage against China. Bruh. I get new cells. import military industrial from the United States. They have like 450 billion surplus of it waiting to be shipped. Okay, so go over to here and we're going to go to sectors, military research and military industrial going to the United States. So what does this exactly do whenever I import military and oh, oh, okay, okay, never mind. I get it. Oh, that is cool. So to get more. Oh, I get it. That's actually a pretty cool feature. So to f form your military faster, you need to invest more into your industrial military. That makes sense. So we're going to import an extra $80 billion from United States has been accepted by the United States. Let's see what that does. I like how my military. Wait, no, that's uh ten forces. So if I wanted to do build and deploy. Oh, that is badass. Okay. That makes so much sense. This game still takes a toll on my um on my system. My CPU is running at 54 degrees Celsius whenever it's uh, water cooled, by the way. And my GPU runs at 62 degrees Celsius. 20, 20, 30, 40, 50. So that's 60. 70 now probably going to order another f maybe 80 billion dollars from the united states for million military industrial everyone that's joining what's up welcome to the stream
Okay, so deploy all of these units. Let's look. 144,000. Game good or still a disappointment? Still a disappointment, but it's getting there. Um, we're getting weekly patches every week. Embassy, of course, it's an embassy. South Korea, what are we missing with South Korea? Development, cultural exchange. Let's do a cultural exchange. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go get a drink. I'll be right back. He's getting a drink. Yeah, I had like 30, almost 40 viewers, and now I just dipped down to 24 because I went to go get me a Dr. Pepper. Still waiting on my refund. Sorry, man, I already spent it. I, I, I ain't got your money, buddy. Oh, hell yeah, hang on. Let's go over to Taiwan. Let's turn the music up for you guys. So we're going to call this Yeah, trade you have Taipei sounds good. And we're gonna put an alliance in there. Damn it. Um, 
opens an embassy. 64. Development. 72. Cultural exchange. 76. Let's go ahead and do an alliance. Oh, now they accept it. Okay. We're going to be going around gaining some allies. So, human development, the Philippines, cultural exchange. Can we get an alliance off this? Nope. Top 10 commentary of all time. Hell yeah. Can you guys not hear? Hang on. Yeah, you should should y'all should be able to hear the music, right? Yeah, no, that's what I was thinking. So sectors, ports, another forty billion dollars from the United States. And guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, because I'm only going to say it about another 40 times. So guys, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and um, just make a game that's complete garbage whenever it comes out. Th thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go hang myself now. What's up, Average Gamer? Welcome. I joined your live stream yesterday, but uh, ended up missing it. But whenever he plays the game with the mic muted, I'm I'm right here. Where's? Can you guys hear me? Hello? <laughs> I literally just... Hello? <laughs> yeah, I'm listening to my own stream and I can hear it. I hate y'all so much. <laughs> it's a collective effort to screw with me. <laughs> y'all got me there. Damn it. <laughs> Did a Q&A with JR today. Video going up tomorrow. Not an in-person one. Okay. I'll be looking at it. I'll try to share it as well. Yeah, if y'all want to see some really good um, content coming out of a Average Gamer... Um, definitely go check his channel out. I'll put Average Gamer, um, I'll put you in my suggested channels list. So, um, that way people can go to your channel as well. What's a Thailand? I'm gonna pack the dethrone PG. Oh, I got a new treaty. Oh, <gasps> it's Taiwan. He wants some money. Wait, he wants to give me money. Hi, <laughs> hell yeah. Give me some money, Taiwan. He dropped something big. Hey, 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 tell me, tell me, DM me, DM me. What'd he do? What'd he do? Why am I not getting this? I've been betrayed. Jean Rene, why didn't you tell me first? Oh, actually, he just literally messaged me.
So I just got a message from Jean Rene Couture. Um, he said next week has more features. This patch is just the first um, is just the first two days of the week, so we couldn't do that much. But they are aiming to get more patches out about every week. So, um, I, well, John Rene, <laughs> if you're watching this, um, you, you see this bug right here, right? I don't know how to describe this. Okay, let me go over to Iran. I don't know if you were watching just a minute ago. But you can see this texture glitch, right? There. Look at India. Okay, you see that? You see how blocky it looks? Tell John Rene to make this game early access. I don't think they can after it's released. So, what's your red scale set to? It's set to 100, I think. Yeah. Mike's gone. Back. Well, I, what, I, if you ever hear me stop talking, it's uh, y'all are just screwing with me or something. On the virtual textures. Oh, huh. so he said when the virtual textures are running out of memory, it does that. It's an unreal bug we've been trying to fix for a while. So that's more of the engine that it's using, and they've been trying to fix it. mic is going on strike what is it is it just cutting off y'all are just screwing with y'all gaslight this is gaslighting mic is going on strike what is it is it just cutting off what's not cutting off y'all are just gaslighting me done with y'all <laughs> i pay too too much attention to the chat <laughs> How one literally just keeps giving me money. Yeah, whenever I'm tapping, that's because I'm looking at other monitors. I have like three different monitors where it's like on my left, it's it's my chat, and then on my right, it's my Discord. So um, if you do hear it kind of like cut out, that's because I'm looking at another monitor. Oh, okay, so you can have these on. You empires. And borrow some money, PG. <laughs> Shut it up. Corbin, Corbin lost his. Corbin, ro <laughs> Corbin lost his uh, his uh, election, so he keeps asking me for money. <laughs> Let's go. Split your units.
changing the uh, title of the stream to Japan uh, Japan gameplay. So I guess uh, we're going to be playing as Japan this entire time. We actually just moved our military rank up one, so we're now the ninth largest military in the world. And no designs. Let's do special forces. We're going to max this guy out. I still do appreciate Jean Rene the other day for um, just uh, just seeing how much the uh, development team went through um, the other day, like last week. Like it was like it was just like commendable on how professional everyone was, honestly, despite everyone's upsetness, which was a very valid concern from everyone. I'm not saying that it wasn't. So it was just, um, it was interesting. Like, I, it was very commendable. I'm going to take PG my vassal, so he has to pay me my money. services it's good use your anger your anger hate your hate makes you powerful you got the sith lord in chat let's do north korea Sabotage. Sabotage. How do I get this chance of success higher? Or to default. Versus. There needs to be a way that we can filter this. But you can train them. Where? Oh, 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 training mission. There you are. That's what we need to be doing. That's how you rank them up. I'm an idiot. <laughs> God damn it. I literally am such a noob. Start. Boom. 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 Wish you could select them multiple at a time. is new, give him time. He is training. Let's train. We're gonna call this the Japan JF forty five. JF forty five. We make it the most advanced that we can do, at least. I 
Get some more traders to the island nations. Yeah. We're gonna expand our influence across the Pacific. Versus JF 45. We're gonna make 500. What the hell is Australia doing there? That's a political realism in the game. Um, I like how Taiwan just keeps giving me money. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna refuse money. Um, uh, the political realism. I mean, it's not. It's, it, it's kind of like. You're not sitting at 100% approval like you are in Power and Revolution, Rulers of Nations. Um, it, can't, I mean, it works. Not too many laws that you can mess with. Ooh, I'm just gonna go and just take Jeju Do. Watching a video, someone invaded Taiwan, it's China, and there was no backlash whatsoever. Again, the game is unfinished. It's it's still being worked on. Um all we can do is just open a couple of months, it's gonna be good. Oh look at that, they have the Kinman Island in here. Actually the only thing the only other one that they're missing right now is one of the smaller ones, it's kinda like up here. North and kind of, I think it's like north of Fujian. Well, no, 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 no. It's like Kinmen is right there. Okay, so it is its own territory. Needs more laws, yeah. Me cut. Anyone is interested in this game? I have 1,000. I still have a giveaway that I need to do. I, I I wanted to do it on the day that it came out, but I was just like, you know what? We're gonna wait the storm out real quick. And before people saying he still got paid to play it. Um, we are going to increase taxes to 23%. See what that does to our approval. Let's go for 25%. Nothing. Okay, there's the approval hit. Um, yeah, that's as far as we're gonna go. Let's go over to this guy, Mr. Palu. We're gonna do some human developments. 68, cultural exchange. And we're gonna ask for an alliance. Damn it. Um, let's give him, what can we give him? State treaties, we, we're gonna give him some monetary. To give him a package of 5.1 billion dollars and ask for an alliance there you go so Paulu is in one level time to use it wisely I'm trying to gain some influence in the Philippines that's Guam. 
is the Federated States of Micronesia. And we're going to do some... Damn, they really like me. Actually, I could just ask we're in alliance right now. Let's go. Let's go. Palu and the Federated States of Micronesia are on our side. And... Who else? Let's... let's Let's have talks with Papua New Guinea. You have a base relationship of 57%. Let's do a human development. 65. 69. Let's do... Then monetary. What is their deficit? We're going to give them $3 billion. 70% that might be the baseline no I think the base might be 75 should take over Korea oh I wonder how that ended reminds me of another event that happened what about the Solomon Islands get to them before China can 7% we're at least going to be doing some uh, human developments all across the Pacific So that baseline is 75% to get an alliance. Yeah, that's going to be one thing. One, one thing we're going to do in a superpower three is unite the Japanese empire. Baseline to get an alliance is around 75%, depending on how common, how much common interest you share. Need to figure out how to get embargoes lifted. Hopefully, they add game speed controls soon. I remember whenever I think they said something along the lines of like they only went with it because it was more of a constraint of the um, of the game engine. But again, they could change that in the future. If you reach seventy percent, try trespassing units. Treaty should bump you to close to seventy-five percent, which is close closer to an alliance. I want to get an alliance with the Philippines. Get a foothold in the Philippines, that's gonna be amazing. Uniboard crossing. Been refused by the Philippines. Taiwan wants to give me more money, we're not gonna They just keep giving me like incrementally more amounts of money every time. I don't know why. They just feel the need to to, to, to increase the... <laughs> Let's get a unit fire. <laughs> oh god, this is... Time speed is in the works. Let's go. Uh, 
is philosophy, world average. You have one year out. You have one year election. to find out some of the stuff that I could cut for a minute. Government corruption is actually corruption is actually not really gone down. Corruption based on population, education, stability, and other factors is money that the government loses yearly. No one exactly knows where it goes. Just like the trillion dollars that disappeared from the United States Department of Defense on September 10th, 2001. I'm guessing in the way the game is coded like the few other Unreal Engine games that speed turns into a physics warp and not true time speed. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing is that it's more of like... Because Unreal... I think Unreal is more of a physics engine, isn't it? Not a visual engine? or elections etc yeah there is um they basically said that so basically it goes off of your approval rating so long as you have like a 50 plus one plus two um approval like you're gonna win the election you know it's not detailed at all they said that they're gonna change that in a future update so Okay, so Japan has notoriously had a like a very very declining population. In Super Power Three, how do I stop that from happening? Other than invading other countries, immigration it brings people inside your country that are from such different social groups. When that's native to your population, these groups will become citizens of your country. The game doesn't have a concept of illegal aliens. If their culture is vastly different from the culture of a more homogenous native population, this could bring down approval, stability, etc. The groups have different cultures and needs, and would support different actions from the government. This is why conquering the world is difficult. The more territories you possess, the more different your population is, and the more difficult it becomes to please everyone and maintain control. Increased health industry. Let's go over government approval. Earth rate. Yeah. Okay, so I could invest an additional. Okay, so that's $83 billion, and we have. But we need to cut something else. We're gonna cut military research just a tiny bit. We're gonna flatline telecommunications. And we're gonna cut infrastructures. Plane research. Okay, actually, let's cut civilian research. And then we're gonna put it back into infrastructure. Should I buy the game now or wait longer? <clears throat> In my opinion, if you want to support the, the developers and create and help them create a good game, 
buy it now. Have a little bit of fun with it. Negative 75 billion? Oh, oh, okay. Attack. Um, so if you want it, if that, that's the biggest way you're going to be able to, you know, get <laughs> good games. I mean, well, okay. No, 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 no. Let me, let me rephrase that before I just get massacred. Um, because... I remember someone saying something along the lines of like you're promoting bad behavior among game developers if you do that but I, I think it's it, it's a double-edged sword I think if you want to see the game develop and that's what they're promising because this game has the potential to become one of the best geopolitical games out there. So, with what we have right now and with, the de with, with what the developers are doing and THQ not wanting to back off of the game, from what I know, um, then, then I would get it, have a little bit of fun with it. Maybe forget about it for a couple of months, a couple of months down the line, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be even better. Um, international. Then at the same time, you know, make sure that, you know, you're not getting screwed over by a lot of these game, a lot of game developers. If they release a bad product, make it known that it's a bad product. But if you want it to succeed, you need to support it in order for it to succeed. If you buy now, it's still a work in progress. It needs work, so you're buying something now to play later. Now, with that being said, they are patching for the near future every week. Yeah. So they are going to be supporting the game and releasing new patches every week. So they have um, not only the uh, the patch that just came out, I think, today. They have um, another one coming out. They actually have a couple of new features that are going to be coming out next week. So I one just keeps giving me money. <laughs> I don't know why. They just keep giving me money for some reason. L plus ratio plus ratio. I just got L'd and ratioed men. Deleting the channel now. Is your friend still being dumb in that in that in that Discord man? Like I, I wanna end my life every time I have to talk to him. Keeps posting Russia stuff like like literally he's literally posting like propaganda talking to maple by the way it's i'm trying to increase your relationship percentage yeah w plus golden ratio <laughs> i hate it whenever that happens it's literally just people saying like like l plus ratio plus cry more Oh yeah, 
Um, Japan actually has really good relations with uh, Peru, so we're going to be increasing our relationship with Peru. Let's go. How much money do I have? Off of all the money that Taiwan keeps getting me. Giving me. International. Um, let's go over to monetary. Let's give them a $23 billion. Should I just give that money to? I, I, so I gave it to Peru, right? I think I literally just like lost money. I literally just gave 20, 20 billion dollars and I cannot remember who I just gave it to. Japanese guy became president of Peru once. Let's go. Damn, I really need to invest in some cereals. So the way investment works, basically you give it a certain amount of money. So you give it $20.7 billion, and then so it basically it basically spends through that, not at once, but it spends through it over time. So you'll see that it starts at 20 billion, 747 million, and then you kind of see it kind of drain down after a little bit. You're actually seeing every day, about every week or so now, that the numbers are changing. So I think our balance is actually going up. Watching what the effects of it are. Berto Fujimori. Let's go. Fruit Loops, Cocoa Pops. So yeah, 41.5 to 42.9. Japanese guy becomes president of, of Peru and becomes a dictator. Does taxes. Origin is based on your country's productivity and human development instead. Land, some like the amount of land for that sector is displayed here. No matter, and no number will be displayed if the sector doesn't require any arable land. If the number is too low, it means that the sector could benefit from the development of arable land. This is obtained by investing in environment. In your budget. So we just jumped to 266 million point nine. And you can actually see that my investment just dropped down about a hundred million dollars. Maybe twenty billion dollars was a little too much. His daughter Keiko almost became president in the last election. Really? Diary coming when the dev has time. Currently, he's the only new developer, so he spends most of the time game development processing at the moment. Hopefully, he lets me stream it whenever we get access to it in November. Pretty sure that'll be a big stream.
Oh, wow. Oh, that is cool. So Jean Rene actually sent me a screenshot of what's coming in the next update. Um saying something else. I don't know if I'm able to show these images if you want your stream. Um try to let me accept this eight billion dollars from Taiwan real quick. Um <laughs> <laughs> There's just a bank rolling my economy right now. <laughs> yeah, they got money. I won't feel bad. Um, let me figure out if I can actually show these images off to you guys. So we actually have some screenshots here. So I'm going to grab... Grab this real quick. Position this over. I'll show you guys what we're getting in this next update. Browser. So here you go. So the first one that we have right here is um, this is a the is what he said. Coming in the next build. OK, he said for an example of more data that we'll be showing to the players is the different ethnic backgrounds and economic power of regions, for example, Maine, which is right here. So we see that Maine is comprised of a million people, and we can see how many of them are Americans, African Americans, Hispanics, etc. Um, and then we see what the GDP is, and we see what sectors comprise of this uh, of this uh, economic sector. So we see that as 0.6 primary, 0.3% secondary, and 0.3% tertiary. And then against Texas in which it's a population of 29 million people with Americans, African-Americans, Hispanics, and others. Um, and then it is a GDP of $2 trillion compared to $95 billion for Maine. And then we see it as 10% primary, 8.8% secondary, and 8.8% tertiary. So that is how much of your national economy it comprises of. And then you can show these uh, you can select your political party with your country in this next update. That is going to be a big one. So we see right here that we are playing as Raymond Jackson as the Green Party in Canada. So that is uh, a very, very interesting. So it's going to be a big one. Um, PG Boom, you should have seen my stream like last week. I had like 400 people on a stream. Um, might be getting another message from John Rene. So I'm just waiting to see if he was going to say anything. And I'm also getting, a getting word from another person saying that, uh, there's some big plan, big thing with quote plans. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that is being added under the hood. And I think that's what I heard as well, that there's a lot, there's really, really a lot. And especially with like the treaty system is what he actually talked about um is that there is a like a ton and i'm talking a ton of stuff that is under the hood of superpower 3 and that's why i'm calling it an unfinished game because it, it, it's it's unfinished there is so much more to this game that that is just not available to us yet so that's why I'm saying, like, if you can, if you guys want to see a good game, support the guy, support the developers, and they're gonna bring us a good game in a couple of months. I mean, hell, <laughs> next month. I mean, I'm pretty, 
pretty excited for what we're going to be getting. 400! PG getting famous, let's go! I will say this right now, for those who are watching um, this, or for those who are watching this stream, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's going to be the only time I say this, so don't make fun of me for it. I'm already being made fun of for it, so it doesn't matter. Um, everyone makes fun of PG now, because he said like and subscribe, and supposedly gets written $500 checks by Golem Labs whenever he actually doesn't. Golem, if you're listening... Go ahead and write me a check. If you guys are listening, I want my money. <laughs> to be honest, I've seen nothing that puts me off except the square borders bugs. I'm considering buying the game now. Yeah, I mean, again, like, I mean, if you are, it's the gameplay is solid. Like, that's what I keep, and that's like the hottest take that I've been able to give this game is that, like, this game has some extremely solid gameplay. I'm going to go ahead and switch back over to the game. Ooh. Oh. Let's switch back over to the game. There we go. Um, but yeah, like, I mean, really, this game, like, it's unfinished. It's pretty unfinished. There's a lot of glitches, there's a lot of bugs, literally, while I'm saying this. And... Why does it say negative 9,000 builds? A buy in two years after they take lessons from Cyberpunk? There you are. So, North Korea. My military strength. was on the veteran. It was right here. Counterintelligence. Sabotage. So I guess you can continue to train it? Okay, you can. So there... Okay, so there's more ranks than that. But when buying a fully buying a game released and advertised as a full game, I don't expect early access quality. If it were early access, I'd understand, but I don't know, man. We're still like <clears throat> in the very early days of of gaming. Everything is really, you know, big and spectacle and everything like that smaller game companies that's i don't know yeah again and and he and the and and the lead developer jean renee even said that it should have been released early access they can't really change that now so they have to they have to go with what they have um so But I understand what you're saying that, you know, it, it's it's a fully released, it's a full release, it's a full release, you know, you buy a fully released game, you're going to expect fully released quality. 
and and that's what they said is that they hit they missed the mark on that by a long shot the way he said it is that he didn't necessarily expect such a baseball bat to the face but um you know we all live and learn but we're getting weekly updates they're paying attention to the game thq hasn't withdrawn so see what it looks like in two months Only wish there would be more politics involved, more interactive election process. Yeah. I mean, AMN, I mean, you if, if you get this, I mean, despite how crappy multiplayer plays, I mean, I would love to play some multiplayer with you. Like, once they really fix multiplayer, like, it is going to be a blast. So what does industrial military civilian do? Is my question. Oh, look at that. I had a hundred million dollar surplus right there. AMN versus PG versus gay match. Let's go, dude. Let's do that. Let's go. You're taking, you're taking that, you're taking my comments a little too seriously. Early days of gaming. I'm talking about like, like post the '90s on. Like the technology. I'm saying the technology is still quite new. I mean, <laughs> everything post 50s like is is still new technology compared to like how fast the world has developed in the past like 50 years, especially since since World War II. And when we went from the VCRs to CDs to literal internet streaming within like a 35 year time frame I know the steam workshop that's really what I'm excited for but I don't know you don't like the game you want to wait for it to get good that's that's up to you I like the support developers All right, so let's get the crew together. Cat Crab Rangoon, AMN, and Gabe Vogel on stream. Let's do it. Tony has a point aside from the early days bit. Games used to be released and they were pretty good quality. Now games are being released in subpar quality with the promise of being fixed later. Yeah, and and it's, it's kind of like a phase where you go through all these phases like, oh, well, you know, I'm going through my emo phase or whatever it's so yeah I, I i understand that it's i don't know um like we saw it with cyberpunk we saw it with various other games where they released it some of the shittiest quality possible and then now they're some of the best games that you can play Where's the nukes button? Nukes are going to be over here. So you come over here, you go over to forces, you go over to nuclear, and then you have your nuclear, um, your nuclear attack options. It's no longer a button. So you just come over here and just literally click launch. And doesn't have nukes, fortunately. So. Okay, so that's the final um, training quality. Let's come over here. 
here in North Korea. We have this boy. This buddy. Buddy man. Is the game better after the new patch? Not in this one, but in the next couple of patches, I'm pretty excited for. So, um, there's going to be a couple of new features in the next patch. Um, just as average gamers said, you can buy them if you buy some Iskanders from Russia. Bug, I think. Wait, I can buy Iskanders from Russia? <laughs> Speaking of, that's actually what I need to design. Let's go over to Mobile Launcher. That's what I need to get some missile launchers as Japan. What should I call this? Paradox releases a game, you know they're going to go around, round until it's a good game. The developer of Super Power 3 has already released a bug a game and abandoned it. Where are you, where are you hearing that they abandoned it? Like they they have not abandoned it. That's the funny thing is people keep keep people keep like saying all these things about about Super Power 3. Like whenever that's just not the case. Like oh yeah, they already abandoned it. Yeah, they released the game and just abandoned it. No. Like, I'm, I'm not seeing any sort of abandonment here. X99, that's actually a good name. Let's go. Attack helicopter. I do. Shooty make shoot face. And that's the other thing that gets me about just a lot of people that have been talking about the game like like it's they just keep talking about it and like it's there's no really no constructiveness in the conversation from some people that i've been seeing like i mean it says the reviews on it it's on it has on steam already a death sentence for the game anyway what is that contributing to the game like, I don't hear you saying, okay, well, you know, this, 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 and this could be better. I'm not hearing anything along the lines of, you know, you know, this is bad about the game, but, you know, this could be better. All I'm hearing is just, the game is already screwed. I hate the game. Okay. Like, if there's no constructiveness, you're not going to get a good game. Like, they made, they made an unfinished product. We all get that. That, that, that storm has already passed. But then if you're not being constructive to the conversation, you're not exactly adding anything to it. So you can't get a good game by just by just continuing to say, 
well, you know, it's already there's already a death sentence, and then just falsely claiming that they abandoned the game and everything like that. Because everything that I've been seeing is that, you know, <laughs> everything that I've been seeing, they haven't abandoned the game. That's not what I'm hearing from the developers. It's not from what I'm hearing from uh, THQ. So. So until, you know, you're able to give a constructive take on the game, you know, I'm hearing people like Average Gamer, for example. Average Gamer comes out, you know, says this, 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 and this is bad. This, 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 and this could be better. Like, Average Gamer has been taking a leading role in how the conversation is about this game. You know, what everything could be better for blah, 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 blah. Look, man, I've been on this, on this stream platform for a years. I haven't ordered a single refund until the other day with this game. I bought very, very, very bad games. And yeah, I mean... So, wait until the game becomes better, or just don't <laughs> don't support the game. Like, but you know, just going around saying like, "Well, it's already been a death sentence." Blah 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 blah. I've never ordered a refund on it. Again, there's no constructiveness in that conversation. Like, there's nothing, and that's all I hear. Like, all the compl a lot of some of the complaints that I was seeing whenever the game came out was. Oh, they paid a streamer to do it. They paid a streamer to promote their shitty game, blah, 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 blah. That's all I was seeing. It was people either slamming on me for playing the game and, you know, begging for subscribers, hilariously enough, or... No, 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 no. It, it's nothing toward Stormtrooper. This is not toward you. This is toward the general conversation. So it's not... It's not anything toward you personally, Stormtrooper. I want to make that clear. Like, I'm just talking about the... Uh, I'm just talking about the generalness that I have been seeing against the game. Like... And so, I just... Again, I want to make it clear that I'm not attacking you or I'm not, you know, saying anything just negative about you. Your comments just kind of, like, you know, made me think about this i need to pause the game <laughs> um the game you have to drop blah, 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 blah. three words no man's sky exactly yeah you got torched <laughs> i know i still think that's like some of the funniest things i didn't i didn't really take it personally so it wasn't it wasn't um anything bad but yeah, like that was the biggest thing that I that I saw was just no one was being constructive about how the game was being discussed. It was literally it was either, you know, you know, falsely claiming that I was getting paid by THQ and Golem Labs to promote the game or it was just yeah, 400 builds guys. <laughs> that is the best thing that i ever saw about the game um after the game came out like that 400 builds will haunt me forever but yeah Um, what time is it? It is 10.30. I've been streaming for nearly two hours. I need to go ahead and wrap this up. Um, I'm gonna make a couple other unit designs. I'm gonna call it quits for tonight. I'm pretty tired. Um, I wanna get some unit designs going, and then I'm gonna be able to play the next couple of decades pretty fluidly. This is what happens when they rush the game. Yeah, the game was rushed, and I'm pretty sure I think they even made that clear that they ru they rushed it, and it wasn't THQ. It was it was general burnout. Is that still a good reason? Is that an excuse for releasing a bad product? No. But I'm pretty confident that they will fix the game. 
I'm, I'm hopefully confident that they will fix the game. I don't want them to abandon it, neither does anyone else want them to abandon it. Everyone waited a long time. I've been waiting 10 years for this game. A lot, some people have been waiting nearly 20 years for this game. So the core gameplay is there. It, it's, it's solid. But there are a lot of issues and it needs to be fixed. And instead of, you know, coming around saying like, oh, well, you know, it has 700 negative reviews. But a lot of those reviews even said, I want this game to become better. And whenever it does become better, I will change my review. You go into your reviews, half of those reviews are going to say that. So. Yeah, um, <laughs> I'm very confident, I'm hopefully confident, I'm so about confident, I believe it could happen, as possibly, may maybe it won't. <laughs> I hate you, Corbin. <laughs> I put your posters up in my room, shut up. Give me a break. Tonga, that's what I need to make an alliance with before we go. I am confident that you guys will like and subscribe. <laughs> Average gamer is never going to let it go. I swear to God. Nigeria. Yeah, and I'm, uh, and I mean, I've been giving, I've been giving games like Power and Revolution a chance for six years, and I mean, it's starting to pay off now. So, like, it's some of these games you have to give a chance. Whoa, just jumped up to four hundred and ten. Don't worry, guys. Build 401's coming out soon. So, uh, I'm gonna save this. No game, no games happening as of right now. Um, but yeah, um, I wanted to do this stream tonight because mainly I wanted to just kind of have more of a conversation. I wanted to address some of the things that uh that happened last week, and I haven't been able to do that because um I haven't been able to stream to you guys mainly because I've been working. So um, I finally had some time tonight, and I was just like, cool, let's go ahead and make that happen so i wanted to address some of the things you know some of uh my role going in a release and i just wanted to developers said they will deal with their problems in the coming weeks so let's take their words into account yeah and hold them responsible if they don't that's the biggest thing you can do give them a chance they say okay you gave us a crappy product you said that you want to make it better go ahead and make it better and we'll give you a chance we'll, we'll give you this chance and if they if they break our trust again don't support them but i'm confident in thq thq is a good publisher i don't think thq rushed it by the way um it was just more of a burnout situation so give them a chance they break that trust again don't support them that's all i have that's all i can say 
and I'll be covering this game. I've been waiting for this game for a long time, and you'll be seeing me play it. Like, for one, I need to branch out from Power and Revolution. Number two, I like the game. Like, I genuinely like the game, and I am excited for what is coming. Even Average Gamer is pretty excited for what's coming. From what we have been told from the developers, and even my conversation with John rene Couture myself, it's... It, w what they wanted and what will be coming and especially like there is this big 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 um treaty thing so the treaty system that we have in here is the basic of the basic like it is basic as hell but in the future we're going to get some pretty heavy stuff from what he has told me maybe he's over exaggerating maybe maybe he's being truthful but we will see whenever that does happen and so we got the patch this week we're getting another one next week and we're getting a couple of new features in the next update so we're going to be definitely back next week and be previewing it probably in the meantime i would try to sh um fit a couple of streams of super power 3 in maybe continuing that japan gameplay that we were just doing so guys leave a like subscribe to the channel if you are new if you guys want to see more content like this hit that bell notification icon we're about 100 subscribers from hitting 7,000 subscribers so let's go ahead and hit 7,000 if we can and uh or not if we can when we will we will hit 7,000 um everyone's gonna make fun of me for saying like and subscribe so guys like and subscribe to the channel i'm no longer asking anymore um but anyway <laughs> um i'm not funny <laughs> Anyway, guys, um, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.